car carriers, cargo ships, and cruises halted indefinitely from traveling into and out of the port of Baltimore. This has a significant and a seismic impact economically, not just on Baltimore, but on the entire state of Maryland. The ship that collided with the Keith Bridge early Tuesday was carrying cargo. And Maersk, the Danish shipping giant that chartered the vessel, has suspended service in Baltimore for the foreseeable future. Baltimore ranks the ninth largest U.S. port for international cargo. It handled some 52 million tons last year, an impact that Maryland Governor Wes Moore emphasized. We're talking about $191 million a day of economic activity, 8,000 jobs that are directly related to this. The city ranks first among U.S. ports that process autos and light trucks, handling a record 850,000 in 2023. That's not just uh, cars, by the way. That also includes a lot of farm equipment, which is a very important export for the American economy. Consumers may see an increase in shipping costs, but one leading economist says the goods will be moved through other ports, so the disruptions aren't expected to have much impact on the wider economy. The Secretary of Transportation is worried about the livelihoods of port workers. If goods aren't moving, they're not getting paid, so we're very concerned for them. Maryland's governor is already focused on the port's future. We are going to focus on making sure that we can have an economic recovery that really honors the work that was taking place with the port. I'm Ivan Rodriguez reporting.